everyone um this is a lesson on maps and scales we're gonna look at the example here worksheet 11 um this is a maths literacy lesson with worksheet 11 11.1 11 .1, they say we study the root map below and answer the questions that follows so the first thing that you do just look at the map and look at the codes that they've given you in the map for example, if you read the map, you see here, they say national roads. And then they did the, I forgot, four-sided shape there. And then they put an N inside. Then here, they say regional road. They did a square and put an R inside. So when you go to your map, when you see an R and a number, that's a regional road. The N and a number, like here, N2, that's a national road. So they've given you the codes there to understand the, the map. Also, when you look at here, they've given you a scale. The scale is 1 is to 360,000. So they're telling you what one unit of this map is equal to 360 in the real life. If you convert that to real life, interpreting the map, to find out how far the distance is. Okay. We're going to look at these questions and then use the map to answer the question. This is a fairly easy um, map interpretation. We're going to try and do other ones where they are slightly complicated, but this one is fairly easy. When you look at the first question A, they say identify the type of scale used on the map. This type of scale, they've given us the scale here. What type of scale is this one? This is a number scale. So you go to your to your answer sheet and write number scale. Let me do that. They say, write the scale in weights. What they are asking you, they say, what does this scale represent in weights? I'm going to write the answer for you and then we're going to read it together. But let's think about it. What the, I've already said the answer. One unit in the map represents 360,000 units in real life. So let us write it in weights as our B. Right. Our answer is... One unit on the map, as you've seen, it says one is two. Represent 360,000 units on the ground. This is what the, the scale says. And then you remember that one, it was a number scale. Okay, let's look at number C. It says calculate the total number of national roads on the map. And it's more like count them. The national, the number of national roads in the map. So you remember the national route is the one that has a the pentagon uh, five-sided shape with an with an n inside but the n for a particular national road will have a number so you you see this is the national road this is n2 you see n2 from there n2 n2 then that one it's n10 pentagon again and an n and a number so this is a different national road from that one so how many national roads do we have in this map we have two national roads. Okay, that will be our number C. Number D, give the general direction of Erk Wood from Shangwar. Okay, let's look at the map and find the general wood. The first thing that you need to find is to find these two places and then see if you move from this one, from Shangwar to Erk Wood, which direction are you going to take? They are talking about the general direction. So let's find Shahwari. Shahwari in our map is here. And then the Ker Wood. They're showing in this question, they're saying give the general direction. They are not saying give the route. They are not saying if you move from Shahwari going to Ker Wood, which route are you going to take? They are not asking you that. They are asking you the direction, the general direction. In the map, always... The, when you go up is north. They're showing us there. So it's north, west, east, and when you're going down, south. So if you move from here, going that way, do you see you go up, but not straight up like that, like in north. You go up, up towards the west, right? So the answer that you're going to give, the general direction is north, west. Because north, because I'm going up a bit, but not straight up. I'm going north in the western direction. That's our answer. That's what you're going to write in our book, Northwest. That's our number D, right? 
And then number E, they say describe the shortest route. Do you see the difference between these two questions? Here they were asking you just the direction. Which direction are you going to go? Now here they're asking you the route. Describe the shortest route from, I think this was supposed to be Shangwan. Because we don't have the time the, in, the, in the, I think it's a printing error. Shangwari to Shuti's Safaris. You have to find that place first. And then move from Shangwari to that place and see which direction do you, do, you, do you go. Which route, which roads are you going to use. Let's find that. When you are from Shangwari, you're going to drive to N2. And then when you get to N2, you turn to your right you turn to your right you can move this way then you turn to your right you go down the road for n2 then you turn to your right again on n10 then you go on on your left then you find that shoot is safari i've written down uh, what you're supposed to do from shawari you drive to the n2 remember in the map you go drive down, you go south, you go south to the N2 National Road. And then you turn right on the N10. You drive five kilometers. On the map, they've written the five kilometers for you. You drive five kilometers and Shanti Safari will be on your left. So if you drive five kilometers, it's written there on your left, you find the Shanti Safari. Now, this question... You'll find it in your English paper 3, section C, one shorter transactional. There's a question where they say direction, give directions. This is how you write that. So in Metzlid, you are also learning your English for, for paper 3, section C, shorter transactional writing. They say give direction from where to where. This is what you use. You use the, the, the national roads. You use the, the, the icon to say 5 kilometers, 10 red, 10 left, 10 right. This is how you do it. Thank you for watching. This is the end of our lesson.